To half the world's population, they're a life essential. To the companies that sell them, they're a global market worth about $38 billion. Period products and access to them has a major impact on women's well-being. And in a move that is said that it said was fundamental to equality and dignity, this year, Scotland passed a law to provide free sanitary products to all of its citizens. Roxana Saberi went to Scotland to meet the women who make it happen. You wanna know. For half the world's people, period products are a necessity. But with costs soaring to roughly $11 a month, for many women, they become a luxury. Uh, this is our time of the month uh, kits, and within that... In this warehouse near Edinburgh, the social enterprise Hey Girls is trying to change that. So... These are some of the products that are getting handed out for free. Yes, exactly. So we've got In October, a new law made Scotland the first country in the world to offer tampons and sanitary pads to anyone who needs them for free. A move aimed at ending period poverty. Hey Girls manufactures some of those products. We define period poverty as having to choose between a packet of period products and say something like a packet of pasta or some other, you know, basic necessity, be it you know, energy or food. And uh, when people can't afford uh, period products, they tend to opt for obviously food and energy. So it means going without what you need for your period. The World Bank says globally, 500 million women and girls lack access to menstrual products. In the U.S., a 2019 study in St. Louis found two-thirds of low-income women couldn't afford period products. And in Scotland, a survey found a quarter of schoolgirls and women have struggled to access sanitary supplies. What kind of consequences can that have on their lives? they might not be able to leave the house. And that means missing out on days at work. If they do choose to go out uh, to, to the workplace or to an interview, they're going to have to use something that's substandard, even things like bread. Bread? Bread. So a lot of really unsafe, unhygienic, um, you know, uh, poor, poor quality items. Oh, geez, that's one reason lawmaker Monica Lennon proposed the legislation in 2019. What was the response, especially from the men? Yeah, I think there were some red faces. I think some people felt awkward about it. But I think that just shows that we need that culture change where we normalise discussion around menstruation. The government has helped Hey Girls launch this app showing where to collect the free products at pharmacies, schools, universities and public buildings. In this neighborhood of Glasgow, women are directed to this public library to pick up their free sanitary products. And inside, in the bathrooms, this is what they'd find. We have got four super tampons, four regular tampons. No one knows what's inside right, this if you're carrying it down the street. Scripts, exactly, yeah. yeah. The packs are proving so popular, demand is doubling every month, says Lauren Heaney of the homeless charity, The Simon Community. So, do you think this is a program that should be replicated in other countries? Yeah, definitely. It's not a hard project to, to replicate. It's really simple. And the benefit that it brings to people is really fantastic. In the U.S., some cities and states have started giving out free period products in public schools and colleges. South Africa, <laughs> South Korea and New Zealand have taken similar steps. We don't want any student uh, to miss school particularly uh, because they don't have access to period products. But not on a national scale like Scotland. For the campaigners behind the country's new law, free tampons and sanitary pads are about human rights and dignity. It's about women and girls being valued and being respected. It's a signal um, and it sends out that message that periods are normal and that access to period products should be normal, too. For CBS Saturday Morning, Roxana Saberi, Edinburgh, Scotland.